are just returning to your fitness program for the first time in a long time, you will be considered a beginner. Beginners want to prepare their muscles with good proper form by developing strength and muscle memory. A beginner program consists of low intensity, low volume, as well as low reps and set ranges. I have prepared a total body workout at a beginner level on your total gym. You will perform this in circuit format, 10 to 15 reps, 1 to 2 times through. So let's go ahead and learn this beginner workout. We'll start out with a medium to a high level on your incline, squat stand attached for squats. Straddle your glide board, sit at the very bottom base, putting your feet onto your squat stand and roll back. I like to hold onto the bottom base of the glide board to keep my body in position. With your knees in line with your toes, drop down, full range of motion, into a squat. Keep your core engaged, lengthen through the leg and activate your glutes. To change this, we'll take the legs a little wider with the toes out, and again the knees follow those toes. Press through your heels to ensure that you're getting proper form. And to take it one more step into a change, turn your feet out even more for plie squats. By changing the feet position, it changes the muscles being activated. Next, walk your feet down to the bottom base, flip it around, and let your glide board pop out. Coming into an incline plank position with your shoulders on top of your wrist, your core engaged for incline mountain climbers. As you do this, you're pushing the glide board up into the tower so that it doesn't move. You're developing strength in the core as well as in your arms. Then you can hold a plank position. As this gets less challenging, you'll lower your incline to really challenge your core and your strength. The next exercise is a crunch and press. You'll have a low incline, cables connected. Take your cables into your hands and face away from your tower. Straddle your glide board, carefully have a seat, and then roll back, keeping your feet on top of your glide board. Arms will be extended. You'll crunch up and press down at the same time. As you do this, press your lower back into your glide board, keeping your core activated, your chest lifted, and your arms extended. The next exercise is seated row and flies. So flip it around, take your cables, anchor down, and have a seat facing your tower. Keeping your core engaged and your spine long, we'll do one row and one fly. So the entire time, you really want to focus on the form and your posture. If this is too intense, you want to lower the incline to accommodate your strength level. And the last exercise is seated rotation. So take your cables, anchor down, have a seat, angling your body towards your tower. You'll hold on with both of your cables, and you'll rotate away from your tower. So it's not just in your arms, you want to use your entire torso as you rotate around. Again, if this is too challenging, you can always lower your incline and really focus on the rotation coming from your waistline. So you'll repeat this circuit one to two times, 10 to 15 reps for your beginner workout. This is a total body workout for a beginner's program. Be sure to focus on proper form to develop a baseline of strength and muscle memory. And in no time, you will be advancing to higher levels of fitness to challenge your body. Be sure to tune in for next week as we will advance this program to an intermediate level. If you are new to working out or are just returning to your fitness program for the first time in a long time, you will be considered a beginner. Beginners want to prepare their muscles with good proper form by developing strength and muscle memory. A beginner program consists of low intensity,